Leo nataka ku explain ya mbona bei ya dola imeshuka. Na nini naweza fanya ishuke ama ipande? So let's assume hii ni Kenya. Tuko na dola na tuko na Kenya shillings. So nini naweza fanya dola ipande bei? Dola inapanda bei ikiwa scarce. Scarcity ya dola inaweza kuwa cost mostly tukiimport vitu mingi. Cuz tukiimport tunalipia na dola. Tukitoa dola, dola inabaki kidogo na bei yake inapanda. Nini naweza fanya dola value yake reduce? Ni kama tuna export vitu mingi. Tuki export vitu mingi tunalipwa na dollars. Dola ikiwa mingi hapa Kenya value yake ina reduce. So nini imefanya value ya dola i reduce this week? Of course kuna the normal exports zenye tuko nazo. Alafu government ili float bond ya 70 billion. Kwa hii bond ya 70 billion wali get 240 billion. Kwa hii 240 billion most of the investors ni foreign investors mostly hawa Kenya wako nje and other foreigners so when you are invest wameleta inflow ya dollars so dollars imekuwa mingi within the country when your dollar imekuwa mingi watu waka panic cause bei ya dollar imeanza kushuka so wale watu walikuwa na dollars but wamezi hold wale watu walikuwa na shikili ya dollars wamezi release kwa market dollar tena ika ikapanda kwa market. So kuna hiyo bond number one Number two kuna the normal exports. Number three wale watu walikuwa na hold dollars wamezi release kwa market. Earlier in the week number four central bank ilikuwa ime release dollars kwa market. So vile hizi factors zote zimekutana bei ya dola imeshuka. So to try to mitigate it central bank Uh, wame buy some of the dollars hii ni ku make the shilling kwa less volatile so kwa ile mtu ako na dollars should you panic ama ungoje hii kitu stabilize remember wala watu walikuwa me hold dollars walikuwa me hold dollars due we are supposed to pay a 2 billion dollar euro bond in june so watu walikuwa me anticipate There's, there are two ways to never leave a euro bond ya kwanza tungelipia na ile dollar reserves tuko nazo CBK ingemaanisha tunatoa dollars tunalipa euro bond so kungekuwa na scarcity na bei ya dollar ingepanda but sasa gaba imesema hata tumia reserves they are going to do a buyback of 1.4 billion dollars so hiyo ni kama in layman's term hiyo 1.4 inaingia kama imetoka kulipa euro bond so it's not going to affect your dollar rate sana so sai wala wasi walikuwa na dollar za mepani wame release dollar into the market but vitu ziki stabilize cause hizi factors are zizi patana kila siku hii dollar iko likely kurudi the original price so kina nani wana lose number one wala watu walikuwa me buy dollar ikiwa 158 160 na sasa wanauza kama leo 145 they have lost number 2 wale watu wali import vitu let's say uli import iphone unauza iphone so uli import ma iphone uli import na 160 sasa hizi kwa 145 uko na hiyo stock kwa duka competitor wako ame import leo na hii bei so umse anaweza uza product yake more than you at a better price where most likely itabidi uze at a loss watu wale wana import vitu na vitu kama gari pia wamekuwa affected so in such a case cause hiyo graph imeenda hivi so soon you don't need to panic kama ulikuwa ume save in dollars ama unalipwa in dollars you need to wait kwanza hata kitu kaa one week ndio tuone trend yenye inaweza kuwa reliable but sasa sasa hii kila mtu aki rush uh, to dispose of dollar zake ama to do any drastic uh, to take any drastic measures you might end up losing alafu kuna wale watu wanasema ati 
tumekuwa na dola mingi tu watu wanafinya finya dollars tapengele <laughs> dollars inaingia hizo <laughs> hizo saa hizo ni ni manini zinaitwa hizo ni rumors hakuna mambo ya tapengele hapa hapa tunaongea about facts so if you have any question unaweza uliza hapo kwa comments